Welcome back to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the third. Let's finish everybody's story. Come on, Richard. Let's make this happen. Hey, everybody. I know you're getting to the end of the game. You're saying, oh, I'm so lonely. I don't get a C star no more. But don't be afraid. I will always be here. Selfishly, I hope this story is not too long. Uh... Oh, that's okay. This is his story. Nice little office. The reason I hope it's not too long is because I gotta... I have to leave in 45 minutes to catch a plane. So it better be less than 45 minutes. Hmm. I think we run into Murano in the Cold Steel games. At least twice. Once in Berea Heart, I think. And maybe once in the capital. So he's kind of like a consultant of sorts. A modern day business analyst. Why don't you come work for me? <laughs> yeah, right. Cutthroat world of business. We know who you are. You can't hide your identity. You were all over the news just a couple years ago. Please mind my manners, lady. Talk about a telephone? Seems like it. Nope. Or red state. Where is that? I have no idea. Speaking of which, I don't actually know what kind of business Murano does. Like, what does she deal in? Not quite sure. It seems like she deals in everything. From apple orchards, to food items, to orbments. I don't trust anybody who says ta-da! The Rhine's brother? Hmm. But she never carries through with any of them. Yes, I wanted to rule the world, she just wants to rule business world. He's got a little bit of a uh, green wood in him. Hey, it's the mayor. Did he help mayor win the election? No, he was he was still occupied at that time.
That seems like an odd thing. They walked out the door first before they let their client out. Where are the manners? Also, they are letting their client sit in the on the wrong side of the room. Oh, there are ways to have tension in, in civilian life. It's called finding out what you want to do yourself. In the military, unless you're like the top of the ranks, you just get orders. It's dangerous, but you know you are just say, "I do what I'm told." Then, when you're a civilian, you have to figure out what you want to do yourself. Sometimes that's a lot harder than anything else. Sir Richard, I'll call you that from now on. How convenient. Also, I figured they would have more staff. Don't mind me. I just want to walk in the rain. Listen to the rhythm of the fall rain. I didn't know Ro Richard was a romantic too. A nice camera effect. Hmm. His past is coming back to him. Is it Cassius? Oh. I was hoping it would be Cassius, and when Richard gets here, it's Sender. Cassius just tells him, Let's have a dance. And just dance in the ring. For no reason. Just because. the most important question. Do you put beans in your chili or not? You didn't answer the question. He just wants your honest answer. He probably looks up to, to Richard and it's like his role model and you know if your role model does something that you are you know, completely unimaginable to you, sometimes that would throw off your sense of belief as well.
<laughs> uh, not sender, it's thunder. Look at his worst choice. He says he cannot. I don't think I don't think that is the only reason. You know, in some way Richard is a little bit like Kevin. This is my prison. This is my punishment. I have a feeling at some point Richard is going to back going to go back to the army. His story is not over yet. So th he's actually training. That's a little bit different there. I still think he's gonna go back to the army. The reason a little bit different than I thought, but Yes. The first member of Big Data. You know they have internet, so why not? The pioneer of Big Data is Richard.
To your credit, nobody does. And hey, even Cassia spent a bunch of time walking the wrong path. But it won't do. And if you catch a code, this means more work for me. I wonder if Richard will run into Lecter at some point. I think that will be interesting. Relationship between the two of those. My feeling at some point is that Richard and Lecter will work together. Rest the red constellation um, it's a big deal particularly in crossbell there's a lot of that going on in the crossbell series and what they're doing and who's inside of them and why they're there but uh, in this game let's just say that they're a very powerful instrument for opening a jar. almost feel like he's telling himself that to convince himself that he still believes it. Don't worry, just, uh, just going over all of my self-doubts. Uh, I need to put them in folders. Speaking of which, I'm kind of curious about uh, Kanone. Uh, she seems like she has gotten everything figured out in her support for Richard. But I'm not sure if she... is as worked out as she seems. I think there's still part of her that's somewhat, if not a whole lot, bitter. Green airship, let's all remember next time we take the quiz. It's a green airship. 
Who am I kidding? I won't remember. It's either green, red, or blue. Unless you're the Arce, then you're white. Look at this knowledge buff. It's a Seek? It is Seek. And if you recall, Richard can talk to Sieg. Also, Lecter can talk to Sieg. <laughs> she cannot talk to Sieg. My definition of somebody who's a good person is if Seek likes you, you are a good person in my heart. If you're a good person, Seek will never poop on you. He will never peck out your eyes. Later, read this letter for me. Hey, we're just friends, right? You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Signed Cassius. Nice and short. I'm very curious to see where the story with Richard goes. So, you know, one thing that people talked about uh, Cold Steel games was that the plot itself is arguably more involved, let's not say better, but more involved than uh, the Trails in Skies, because the Trails in Skies is actually a fairly straightforward JRPG yeah, with its plot. The good thing about it is that the, the character development was, and the world building is fantastic. Um, in Cold Steel, you have a better plot, I would say, but the characters are worse, so give some and take some. Richard is leading... He's pulling on a very small thread right now, but that thread can cause everything to unravel in a hurry, and that's why I'm very curious to see where his stuff goes. Arguably, I think he's potentially one of the most important persons in terms of how the plot develops and how the liberal part of the story goes, I say. So uh, with that, I bid you adieu, and uh, we'll have more episodes when I come back. Thanks for watching. See you next time.